नमस्ते दिस इज द थर्ड मॉड्यूल ऑफ आवर अलॉटेड कोर्स दैट इज ऑन मूडल डिजाइनिंग एंड मैनेजिंग कोर्स ऑन मूडल व्हिच इज प्रिपेयर्ड अंडर द एफडीपी प्रोग्राम 301x मेंटरिंग एजुकेटर्स इन एजुकेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ दिस थर्ड मॉड्यूल दैट इज थर्ड सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ थर्ड मॉड्यूल डिजाइनिंग एंड मैनेजिंग कोर्स ऑन मूडल सो हियर आई विल शो यू लाइव हाउ द uh you will create a course on moodle and it can be managed so at first we have to create an website uh, which we have, i have already created that is fdp design activity team 115 on genomeo.com so after creating this website we have to log in through the admin password admin id and password so here let's log in through this admin id and password so we'll move on to this gear sign and we'll click on turn editing on then we move to site administration then courses manage course and categories in manage course and categories one category is already mentioned that is by default miscellaneous categories in which your course will be added uh, automatically but if you want to create a new course then you can create a new category to organize your course if you click on create new category then uh, this type of window will open up here uh, we have to name the uh, parent category top category name category id description then create category so in this way we can uh, create a uh, category into the courses sections i am not doing this because we have already created a course uh, in this then for creating a new course we have to create a uh, click on create new course button so in new course uh, there are several uh, things which are required that is course full name course short name course category here you will find uh, by default it is miscellaneous but if you are creating a new category then it it will be displayed here in course category then course visibility so or hide two options are there if your course is complete we can so uh, create uh, make it so if we are course our course is incomplete then we can select hide button then course date start date on which date it will start course end date course id number these are all can be managed here in course description uh, we can uh, enter the description of the course briefly which will be showed below uh, our module then course format it is one of the important criteria of uh, creating a course topic format weekly format social format single activity format if we are having a single activity then we can select single activity form or most of the times basically weekly format or topics formats are chosen for creating a course number of sections uh hidden sections are shown in collapsed form or completely invisible form course layout so all section on one page or one section per page like that and then course appearance here all is set by default files and uploads uh, what is the maximum uh, file size you want to uh, allow for upload then completion tracking groups role renaming and tags in tag section we can enter some keywords through which our course can be find out then we have to click on save and display after clicking on save and display our course will be uh, ready to uh, will be ready so i'm not doing this because we have already uh, created a course now moving on to uh, my course that is model here uh, we are creating a course uh, at the part of fdp that is uh, fdp design activity on moodle so we have divided into in four uh, modules that is introduction to course uh, module module 1 what and why moodle module 2 getting started with moodle module 3 designing and managing course on moodle module 4 extended application of Mod, uh, moodle for education research and finally course ends with the course general submission and course end survey so this is all about creating and managing a course now i'll pose a question uh, regarding how to uh, create a course 
so what is the first step in creation of course i will pause for a minute you just write in a, your answer on your notebook and then come to here so the answer is for creating a course uh, in moodle we have to uh, first step is to move on to uh, uh, to create a website then to move on to site administration then site administration we have to click on create a course thank you